you know you can actually make your own feed fish feed yeah you may be surprised hearing this from me yeah i know you can actually make your own fish there you go hold on i'm not selling any fish feed i'm just telling you that you can actually make it watch out this fish feed and see the one that you like we'll talk about it Welcome to Let Us Farm. So today, what we're talking about is fish feed. Many people actually you know, chatting me. People always believe in this concept of, you know, there are hidden things that I don't say. But I kind of, I kind of wonder why you believe that I have a channel where I talk to people and I don't say some secret things. And I have never come to the channel to say, look, I have some secret things. If you want to learn it, come to me. I don't know why. But you come to me, you're asking me for some secret things that I don't even know. Anyway, this is Let Us Farm page and all we talk here is we try to tell you the practical solutions to solving all your agri problems. So if you're having any issue in your farm, all you need to do is do a two to three minutes video and send this video to me. Please do this video when you are feeding your fishes. I will be able to look at this problem and tell you exactly what you're going to do to solve this problem problem and for today what we're going to be learning is making your own fish feed what's the way out of it how do you make your own fish feed for those who wants to make their fish feed remember let us farm does not have any whatsapp page we don't have any whatsapp group we're not on telegram so please don't join anything on this on my behalf don't pay anybody any money to get you link to let us farm they are all bullshit i don't know about them so please after watching this video, kindly like this video, subscribe to this channel and give us a thumb up. Then where necessary, you can also share this thing to your friends so that everybody will get to listen and benefit from it. After all, it's free of charge. I charge you nothing. So don't charge anybody anything to teach them. It is what it is. Okay, like I said, today we'll be talking about you making your own fish feed. Now, for instance, I have to break this thing down to let you understand. Fish feed, we have two types of fish feed. Locally made fish feed. That's the one you as an individual do. We have the one that is floating and the one that is not floating. The one that is floating is the best. Unfortunately, it's expensive because you need a machine to compress those feeds for them to float. So I'm not going to be discussing that. I'm talking of the one that sink. All right. Now, I don't actually make my fish feed. This particular assertion is 100% correct. So anything you hear here today, I don't use it. But I'm going to tell you how you going to go about it if you want to use it. Now, like I always say, if you want to make your fish feed, to be standard it is going to be more expensive than the company produced feed and this is why now when a company wants to produce feed what they do is that companies have agents that go to the field they go to the farmers so what they do is they give farmers advance payment during the preparatory season to farming season this is done before the rainy season months before the rainy season so if example in the last farming season maize was sold at the cost of like say 200,000 per ton so what happens is that these companies bargain with the farmers and say you know what we're going to advance you payment for your production of this but you're going to give us at 130 or 150 of that that you produce 200,000 you know that's the cost of handling money that's the cost of because they will tell you that look they borrowed this money from banks and even if they don't borrow the money from banks this bank the most money ordinarily would have yielded interest for them if it wasn't the bank so both we are giving it to you so it's like an advance and you as a farmer you don't have any source to get this money so the farmers appreciate this gesture so what they do is that they accept it and they go to sign an mou with these uh, production companies so this MOU is a guarantee that at the production season, you're going to sell to them at this recommended price. So you go ahead. So 
these people actually go in town in turn to book on the behalf of what they expect you to produce they may tell you that as a farmer we need 100,000 kg from you or something like that that's how they do it so it's everything is spelled out in the MOU and you go so by the time you as an individual want to produce your own feed you now want to buy the same maize that these guys bought at 150 remember they bought it at an agreed price you may get to the market and because of inflation and everything this maize from the 200 sold last year is now 250 or 300 per ton 300,000 per ton Remember, this man has actually booked down his own as 150 So, he doesn't care about the price changes. But you, as an individual, you now get there. Oh, okay, you know what? I want to buy one trailer load. They may end up removing maybe just 20 bucks from you. What they will remove from you will be insignificant compared to what the company has bought it. When you put the kind of profit that they've gotten from each individual ingredient, you see that they have a reduction in cost on this material but you will not have this reduction now when it now comes to production again you alone you are an individual producing but these guys have a lot of people working for them and it's not as if they pay them so huge so what they now work on is they work on turnover that these workers will produce enough so this enough production will not crash whatever they are paying these staffs per month but remember in your own case, you can't do that because you are producing for just your own consumption. So you see, your cost of production slightly is more than them. And when them, the company wants to sell again, they also try to beat the turnover record. Knowing that the more they sell, it's the more they now do a multiples of that small profit margin and make money. But in your own case, you are running that as an individual and running on what you want to produce to use in your farm. These two things now, I don't know if you understand the differences. Now, some people will say, oh, yeah, I don't used to buy my feed. I used to buy, uh, go and measure cages and buy. This is the irony. You see that thing that the company bought at 150 per ton. Before it now gets the tow mill, who will now sell to you at the piece mill you want to buy, as at the small small that you want to buy. That man, again, will still add money on top of that, increasing another cost of production for you. Now, this is where people don't understand. So, we have some individuals that call themselves, um, some call themselves, um, uh, they call themselves, some call themselves professors of this. They don't, I'm not discrediting their professorship, but they, you know, mentors, consultants, profs of the business. So I'm not discrediting whatever they are, but that is what they call yourself. They move to farms, you know, you have the consultants, you have this one. So they move to farms. They tell you, they advise you that, you know what, we are producing. And we have been in this thing for a very long time and blah, blah, blah. So they now tell you that, you know what, this company is going to give you at the rate of, let's say, they're going to give you at the rate of 12000 per bag. But we are going to give you at the rate of 10000 so you see, it makes more sense to you to gain 12,000. But remember, this is produced by this individual. So you buy his own, you feed your fishes, and then you have issues. Then you'll be wondering what happened. Then some people will say, no, 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 that's not what we're talking about. We want to learn how to do our own. Good, that's where I'm coming to. So if you now want to do your own, remember I have told you how this cost increases. And you'll be wondering, how is it that these consultants, you know, their own cost is cheaper than these guys. That is what you want me to tell you. And that's what I'm going to tell you now. So what these consultants do is this. Anytime you buy a feed, look at the bag. You see where the root composition. These are the things. These are the ingredients you use in making the feed. For instance, now they may say that the protein in that feed is 40%. This is an example. So you know your protein ingredients that they use. You see it there. Now they may say that um, the... Uh, energy in the feed is 50 percent and most of our energy we use corn so what these guys will do is that because corn is the one of the most expensive ingredient you see your feed preparation so they will drop the corn that's the energy that is supposed to be energy for these fishes to like 20 percent you see that protein that they said 40 something percent they will still drop it because of the cost of buying the material for that protein now what they will now do is there's something we call roughages roughages are just so things that you eat that doesn't really give you anything for, for maintenance 
and in these rough edges we have something like wheat over it's a rough edge it's just like chaff uh -huh. so I'm using um, rice bran it's like chaff that's the the huskies in the rice the back of the rice that is peter's rice brown huskies so these things are rough edges they don't add any nutritional value to you you eat it just to have strength just to be alive that you have eaten something now they will now substitute it for your protein or they will now substitute it for your energy which is the corn so what happens is that when they do all these things they still put the feed on scale to scale it it still gives you the normal 25 50 kg that they are selling to you because most of these ones don't sell at the 50 it still gives you the normal 25 50 kg that they are selling to you because most of these ones don't sell at the 15 kg they will sell that 25 50 kg or 30 kg so it will still give you that kg but now the irony is that the ingredients used have been substituted so as to reduce the cost of production on this feed so in order to balance it they will now go and increase the methylene level methylene is something that makes the fish to be big it's like yeast so when they increase it it now leads to your fishes like i've done a video on it you now see your fish having their score torn which nobody's gonna buy fish like that because it's a loss to you you see so i have explained this for you to understand what actually the mathematics that goes inside this thing so now you as an individual that want to produce your feed you know what they're going to do so since you want to produce your own feed and get the result get a feed bag look at the composition of that feed bag now you will see the percentages because people will tell me ah give us percentage no 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 any size you want to produce just get a feed bag each feed size has its own composition don't get it from me because me i don't use it therefore if i give you anything i don't use i'm telling you a lie so get that thing from the feed bag you will see different composition so if you come to this composition you will see like protein composition you see uh, your energy composition they will write it there now take it to where you buy your materials you ask them, I want, what is the energy that you people have? It's normally calm. They will bring it out for you. You look, it says some percentage. So now this percentage are always rounded up to 100%. How this 100% works is simple. Let's say you want to do <clears throat> 10 kg. So you now do 10% of 10 kg. That is 10. So if you are not buying, you are going to buy 10 kilo of that particular material. So I'm giving you this example for you to understand. So if, for instance, on the bag is written 10%, so like I said, all your feed, like even if you want to do one ton, which is 1,000, every composition there, it must be rounded up to 100%. 100% is the whole. That is the, everything, not round that up, to come to 100%. So if you check each of those percentages, you see that when you add everything together, it's going to be 100%. So, I say, for example, now, if you want to produce only 10 kg of feed, so what you simply do is that particular item that you get there, let's say it's an item that is 10%, it will be that 10% over the 100 times the 10 kg. So, when you do it, you simply get your result. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. So, when you do it, it will now give you the percentage that you're supposed to use out of the whole 10 percent if it is 10 percent of uh, maize and you want to do a 10 kg that means you are going to buy a 10 kg of the product just to round it up to the this thing that you want to do just it's a simple mathematics so you don't actually need me you know to start telling you all this is but i'm just telling you so that you'll be able to understand this calculation everything there must be rounded up to the percentage so each of the percentage that you want to do will be on top of 100%, which is the rounding up of the figure, times what is the quantity that you want to produce. So that will give you the percentage of that particular item that you want to produce. But for your best interest, use what you see on that feed bag. Now, we have two different types of feed bag. We have the one done abroad and the one done in Nigeria. The one done abroad obviously is more expensive. Two reasons. One, cost of importation is higher. 
Two, most of the feeds done abroad has more protein content than the one done local. This is what the local company do to actually reduce cost. They do it knowing that if you reduce, let's say you reduce like 3% on your protein content, but every other thing balances, it won't affect your production. They, but every other thing there, go and check it, will be the same thing. Just a slight difference, they will be the same thing because they produce based on what is our weather condition and the reality of what is on ground. But you as an individual cannot be able to go and do any lab test to understand these things. All these companies we are talking about, they have standard labs that they use to test and ascertain what they are going to do. But you know as an individual, you can't be setting up labs because you want to do fish business. So this exactly is what goes behind closed door to give you the result. If you don't understand all these things now, because I have given you the idea of how you are going to do your fish feed. Now, if you want me to give you an idea how to make it cheap, sorry, I cannot tell you to remove any ingredient for you to get cheap because if you do that, it's going to affect your result. Your fishes will not be able to grow as you expect them to grow. So it's just penny wise, pound foolish. But if you can do this thing now, like I always say, I will tell you the truth. It's going to be more expensive, but then again, you want to be sure of what your result is. Whether you make profit or not from after the production, that is a judgment that you'll be able to carry on. So until I come your way next time, my name is Emily from Unologa of Leros Farm. Remember, if I have said anything you don't understand, use the comment section. If you have a suggestion of something you want me to say, use the comment section. And don't forget, keep farming. It's a way of life.